Hello! Well, this is my next video for the day. Um, this is what you would call a fiddle gertie. It is basically a stripped down version of the hurdy gertie. Um, if you were to Google fiddle gertie, uh, you would be sent straight to Dennis Havlena's uh, website, which has the plans for his uh, fiddle gertie. I looked at his plans and they're awesome. I just wanted to try to make it slightly different based on the uh, cigar box guitar I'd made before. So what I did was I have a long piece of uh, hard maple and then here to accommodate the wheel I did a large U, very bulky, very very thick wood to uh, withstand the stress of the uh, strings pulling on it. Uh, you have some you know uh, strings coming out here going to the uh, standard uh, machine heads uh, for a guitar. Um, have a couple of uh, pieces of wrapped cotton on the strings where they meet the wheel. That's to um, help, I believe, cut down on some of the harsh, uh, some of the harsh uh, overtones that occur uh, in this method of, uh, of causing the strings to vibrate. Um, made a little uh, cute little, I like it, a cute little wooden handle here for it. Uh, the actual resonating box uh, is a cardboard. It's this straight cardboard, uh, two pieces of cardboard glued together. Um, it's really incredible to hear the difference between uh, just this board by itself and the cardboard. Um, let me just uh, play it for you a little bit. I haven't fretted it yet, if I ever do. Uh, but what I'll do is I will uh, start uh, with the two strings going. They're in unison, by the way. Uh, and I'll just run my finger up until I come to uh, some of the natural um, uh, intervals like the fifth and the octave. There you go. The uh, wheel itself is uh, rosined as a bow would be, and uh, I may need to uh, add a little bit more of um, cotton onto the uh, strings. Uh, also, figure out some method of holding it, because in uh, Dennis's uh, fiddle gertie, he has it as a guitar, so he can simply uh, play it uh, standing up. But uh, because of the way I made it, it's more in the uh, fashion of a mountain dulcimer, which would probably need to be laid flat somewhere, and maybe somehow held down. Uh, because of the weight on this side, uh, it, it's easy for it to kind of move around on me. So these are things I'll have to consider if I want to try playing it, you know. Uh, I think uh, also if I do want to play it, I do definitely need to fret it because uh, I'm not one for being able to know exactly where to put my fingers uh, to play the particular notes. Uh, as you saw in the previous uh, video, I am not a guitar player, but uh, it was a very fun thing to build. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.